Puerto Maldonado. It's bloody hot here. It's way hotter than it was up in the Cusco. It's very humid as well. It's obviously wet season here. 480 kilometers north of Cusco. We find ourselves in Puerto Maldonado, the easiest route into the Amazon rainforest. 10 hours on a night bus last night. It was actually the most comfortable night bus I have ever been on. They had a toilet on there. The seats reclined 160 degrees. We actually both had a pretty good sleep on there. Even with the mountainous windy roads, it was no problem at all getting to sleep on there. We got a, a BCP bank right there. For those of you who don't know, don't go to any of them. Don't go BCP or um, any of the uh, ones like that. You want to go to Banco de la Nacion. Zero fees. You can withdraw money at the ATM up to 400 soles per day. Zero fees. It's the best one. Now the temperature here averages out at about 31 degrees throughout the whole year. And then you have your wet season and your dry season. Obviously right now is wet season. You see, doesn't really mean it's wet all the time. It can just rain very heavily, very quickly, very sporadically throughout the day. But it can also be pure sunshine like we have right now. So don't feel too, uh, so don't feel too put off by the word wet season. If, if, uh, if that's a good time for you to come here, not, not too sad at all. One thing I have noticed here is there's a lot more motorbikes and they're very loud. Very different from Cusco where you barely saw any motorbikes. Here everyone's cruising about on them. This is a bit more like what I was expecting when I came here to be honest. Cusco was a uh, it's, it's quite built up everyone you know it's all tours and very very touristy Cusco is. It's so nice here. It is nice. It's a very nice place. Just too too difficult to keep energy levels high in Cusco. So the uh, altitude, well, for, I, was, I struggled big time there. I don't know if it's because I've only just recovered from this hundred-day cough thing that was going around in the UK. You, like you have a cough for a hundred days and it just goes away. But yeah, I was having having troubles with my breathing for a while before uh, before I even came, and then the altitude was just a killer. What? We're not going the wrong way. Huh? It's not the wrong way. No. It's down here. <laughs> so you've just turned up at Puerto Maldonado. You haven't booked anything. You think I'm just going to book it when I get there. It's probably going to be cheaper. It's probably going to be easier. <laughs> minefield this is I told you now there is about 12 different stores down this road all selling the same thing for different prices all offering slightly different packages and it is a bloody minefield we've been, probably been into about half of these trying to work out which one's gonna be the best which one gives the best deals which one seems the most genuine and I've got to say out of the ones we've been to Manu Expeditions seems to be the most genuine guy. He was well all right. There is another guy who is really cool at the Jaguar Expeditions one. If you speak Spanish, you'll be sweet as with him. He does a good prices. The problem is he doesn't speak English. And when we're out and about out there, we've had it before where if they don't speak English, I don't know, I don't know what I'm looking at, you know? And, and, it, and, it, and it is actually a big thing. I know a little bit of Spanish, but really not enough to keep up with somebody fully speaking Spanish trying to explain things to me. So, that's the only reason we didn't go with the Jaguar guy because he's actually a cool dude in there. He's like, he's a nice guy. A lot of the guys down there, they were just trying to flog us all sorts of stuff, kayaking and rafting and all sorts of shit like that. I was like, I don't want to do all that, man. I'm here. I just want to see wildlife. I don't want to. I don't want to waste my day walking through some canopy walk somebody's made for as a tourist attraction. I want to come here and see wildlife. That's why you come to the Amazon rainforest. You want to see animals you've never seen before, and that's what we're here to do. 
The best way to see wildlife here by far is to do a couple of days trek into the jungle to the Tambo Pata Lodge. Uh, we, we did speak to one guy who said he would take us there, but they were real shifty. What, one minute it was $250 per person, it was $240 per person, then it was $280 per person because it's apparently three days. I was like, it's not even three days, it's... Oh, no, there's an ATM there. I was like, it's not three days, it's, it's two days. We leave today... Oh. Anyway, they were shifty. Uh, Tamba Pata, you need a few days because it's quite far into the jungle. So allow yourself at least two or three nights with a couple of full days either side. Or, if you have cut yourself short like we did, then the itinerary we've actually planned out is the best way to see wildlife in a short time here. We're going piranha fishing today. Tomorrow we'll be doing a lake walk to Sandoval Lake. Uh, then you, I think you go out on a little kayak there and everything, don't you? Yeah. Apparently there's a lot of wildlife around the lake and uh, if we go, we're going early morning. It costs a little bit more, more money. Most people do the day tour, which leaves at half nine in the morning. We're doing the early one, leaves at 5 a.m. You can see way more wildlife and there's not that many people on the tour. It costs double the price. It costs us $250 per person. In fact, actually we got it for $230, didn't we? Yeah, something like that. No, $220. We got it for 220 per person, so we got it a little bit cheaper. And on the third day, Monday morning, before we have our flight, half four in the morning, we're going to go to a clay lick wall. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a wall with clay and the parrots come and lick all the minerals out of the, out of the clay. And it's like a big, a wall of parrots, basically. So that'd be pretty cool. But that's the three... The three things we're going to do while we're here in our short time here and that gives us the best chance to see as much wildlife as possible in such a short time. Now accommodation here in Puerto Maldonado. We've got quite a good spot. It's costing us about £36 a night. Copasu Hotel it's called. Uh, it's got a very very good shower which is something we needed after that long bus ride. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a nice spot. You get a comfortable bed, fancy room, breakfast included, got air conditioning, everything you need. It's, it's a very nice hotel. It's a three, it's only a three-star hotel, but it does feel like it's a quite a nice hotel. I feel like it feels like a four-star. It does feel, it does feel like a, it does feel like a four-star hotel. We're obviously hotel connoisseurs here. <laughs> uh, escape with us. <laughs> but no, we're, um, yeah, it's a good spot. It's very close to the plaza, and, and that's where you're going to find all the tour guides and everything. If you you just want to make sure your hotel, your accommodation is around this area. It's the Puerto Maldonado uh, Plaza. Uh, Plaza. The Puerto Maldonado Plaza is where all the guides are and where restaurants are and stuff like that. So that's the, that's the area of town you want to be booking your accommodation. Also, they do offer early check-in. So you're going to come here on a night bus, most likely, unless you fly in. If you want to get a night bus, we, we went with Palme Pal Palmino. Palomino. We went with Palomino bus tours. They pretty much got here when they said they were going to. It was about 45 minutes later. So we left at 8 p.m. last night, got here at 6 a.m. this morning, and then we got to our hotel. They did an early check-in. That does cost you 50% of a night's rate, so it cost us £18 between us. But after that bus ride, a shower and getting our bags dropped off in the room and just having a little reset, having breakfast as well, was well worth doing. I actually said no at first. I was like, fuck that, I'm not paying yeah. for early check-in. But that, that was like, I have to, because we were filthy. So, yeah. That's how we got to Puerto Maldonado. That's where we're staying. That's where you should stay. That's where you should probably book your tours. You can book online. Online bookings are a lot more expensive than booking it here. If you're watching this video and it's high season, pre-book it online because these places are going to get put, booked up. If it's low season, don't book anything online. Come here and book it with them. They do you good deals. They're all in competition, competition with each other. As I say, the Manu Expeditions, what seemed to be the most genuine guy. He wasn't very pushy at all. He wasn't, he knew the prices. He wasn't like changing his mind on prices. All the others were like, you know, we'd ask him how much and they go, oh, hold on a minute. And then they'd ask someone else how much it is. It's like, dude, you, you work here all day, every day. Why have you got to ask somebody how much it's going to be? Like, you just look at what you're looking at us and thinking how much you're going to charge us, not how much is the price. It's a very, very, very big difference there. So, what are you? Hola. Hola. <laughs> So what you're gonna, so, but whereas Mano Expeditions, he knew the prices, he said, if you book it all here, I'll do you a deal, and that's exactly what he did, so it was good. Anyway, we're gonna go and relax now, and then uh, I suppose the next video is gonna be us going piranha fishing, which is gonna be pretty interesting. Pretty fun, I'm quite looking forward to that. But yeah, that is that is the Puerto Maldonado guide, as, as I can tell you from here. Goodbye. <laughs>